Hey, are you up to date on your vaccines? What vaccines? I just got mine back in school. There's more? Well, the ones recommended by the CDC are probably the ones you've gotten before. So depending on the age group, there are recommended vaccines. And the CDC recommends an array of vaccines, but there's nine they recommend as necessary. Can you tell me more about the age groups and vaccines? Yes, necessary vaccines depend on age group. So the flu and COVID shots are an example of that. So I always see a sign to get your flu shots every year. How many people get vaccinated? That's a really great question. Flu vaccines are more common with age. So people who are 65 and older have the highest rate. So for example, during the 2023 to 2024 flu season, nearly seven out of 10 adults in that age group were vaccinated. They've also had an average vaccination rate of 67.6% .6 since 2009. Wow, okay, well, how does that compare to other age groups? Yeah, well, to put that into perspective, the vaccination rate for all adults older than 18 was 43.6%. Okay, so now I'm also curious about how this differs by location. Is there data on that? Yes, Washington, D.C. had the highest flu vaccination rate at 60.4%, and eight northeast states had rates over 50% led by Massachusetts and Rhode Island. What about COVID-19? From September 2024 to mid-February 2025, 23.1% of adults got a COVID-19 booster, which is up from 20.3% for the same time frame the year before. Thank you. Wait, how do you know all this? That's simple, usafacts.org. That's where I go for data free from bias and straight from the source, like this on health.